praise and honor and glory goes to the King today, July 23rd, 2021. Today we are speaking about the use of cloaks, cloakology, to cover uh, what's underneath, uh, to hide what is behind the surface. This is the usual cause and effect, whereas the cloak is used as part of a design to achieve a particular outcome. This is always a pretextual concept. Uh, we are discussing evidence uh, found within the media, um, particularly what is called the news. We can think about this as a kind of uh, personal undercoating. Um, when they tell us, you know, they're covering the story, uh, this is what they are speaking about. So we can define these uh, methods using any particular colors. Uh, we've tried to, you know, relate the color uh, with the style of cloakology uh, being used. There are a ridiculous amount of examples on a daily basis. Um, you know, Hopefully people are able to, you know, take this lesson and see for themselves uh, to determine, you know, what it is that's achievable. Uh, what is the desired outcome and what will be the result? From that point you can usually go backwards and determine how uh, this proposition was sold. So to begin, the most common used cloak is the white cloak. It is used for goodness. In other words, that's how the item is sold. Um, an example of this would be the beast mark for hearing. You know, somebody's artificial intelligence uh, embedded will uh, enhance their hearing experience. The obvious result would be to track and monitor all human behavior on the earth. Um, and this would be a step towards that. Uh, drones, you know, we know what drones are being used for. Uh, but when we hear about them in the news, it's usually for a good purpose. They're going to save somebody, to rescue someone. Uh, there wasn't much of a discussion on these activities uh, previously, unless you consider, you know, sightings of unidentified flying objects, uh, but the discussion was bypassed, and we're, re we're told about these great things that are being done with these devices. The red cloak is the alarm. Its purpose is to shock you. There's an emergency. 9-11. Uh, the viruses. You know, when this list was composed, Ebola was the one that they were speaking about. So, when the virus is introduced, you know, Ebola, people were not as shocked Right? as they are about this latest one, the corona. Yeah. Um, that may have been the first attempt 
to condition people for what is to come, the Ebola. As you recall, they were doing these quarantines, somebody defied it. And, you know, it was the kind of initiated public discussion to bring forward to the next step, which was this, this latest, which will only be uh, the latest, as there will be more to come. Of course, there's a desired outcome from the virus. You can see where the industrial players have used this to just, you know, uh, streamline their operations. Um, they're looking to use automation to take people's jobs. They're looking to go to digital currency. <clears throat> they're looking to go to some kind of a microchip. They got it right now, it's called a smartphone. Um, but they don't want to accept that there's some people on the earth that don't choose to be you know, stalked by st strangers. So uh, they're gonna use these viruses to take you there. We've talked about this in our previous discussion the ultimate goal is to worship and serve the beast, as Revelation 13 has proclaimed. The blue is the noble cloak. Similar to goodness, uh, signifies, you know, what we're doing is for a righteous cause. You know. So when the whole ISIS thing you know, it was the topic of the day. And uh, they had invaded uh, one of the Middle, Middle Eastern countries, Iraq, and had taken um, a statue, a very, uh, you know, famous, valuable uh, piece, of, piece of art. Turns out that it wasn't the real thing. Yeah. And so the British had already had the statue in their museum you know so you can report on this and say well during the invasion of iraq 2003 the british went in and took this valuable artifact as well as numerous others that's called pillaging uh, instead of reporting it in that way they said that isis uh, had cr broken this statue broken this statue People are up in arms. Oh no, you know, this is, a his, this is historical value destroyed. And then they come to save the day. The blue cloak. <clears throat> Orange is similar to red. Just not as alarming, but surprising. So when you think about when they tell you to update your software, you know, there's a threat out there. Better press the button and let them do what they do to your computer. They're making their processes easier so they can monitor your behavior. And they like for you to agree with that. So hit OK. Um, you know, if not, you might be attacked by a virus. And you might really be attacked by a virus if you don't do what they say. You've got green. Green is the future solution. You know, we're told that animals are going extinct. But man is working on saving the animals with the stem cell. You know. It looks pretty, yeah, but underneath, it's not so. The yellow cloak is the cloak of revelation. You know, when they tell us that the facial recognition is biased, They didn't discuss what the results of 
implementing the facial recognition are, you know, in general. But what they're telling you is that the bias, you know. So you're going, wow, you know, that's a revelation. Yeah, that needs to be fixed. You think they gave you good information. Oh, the facial recognition bias. I knew something's wrong with it. But that's not the only thing that's wrong with it. Yeah. And because they tell you it's bias, what exactly does that mean? You know. So similar to green, yellow, in the sense where we're going somewhere. We're going to solve this problem. All we got to do is fix the bias, re-engineer the algorithm, and we can get things straight. Again, it's flashy, it's pretty. Underneath, not so. The pink is the trend, the trendy cloak. You know, it's artificial. It's a soft lie. You know, everybody's doing it. You know, when they tell us that, that, that um, there's fake meats coming out, they're going to meet the demand for the growing vegan population. They're hiding that the earth is on, cannot continue agriculture the way it had conventionally. That meat is going to be too expensive for the ordinary person to afford because of the water consumption, uh, because of the processes, because people are aware of the treatment of the animals. It's not the same way the animals were treated 50 or 60, 70 years ago. You know, it's industrialized. It's all about weight. The animals injected with steroids. People are re realizing this is not good. Not good for you. You're getting cancer. So, vegan becomes a trend. But they use that now to hook on to, to push this fake meat consumption. Purple is the tradition. Traditional coat. You know, the purple just signifies royalty. It's the law. You know, just the way it is. I didn't make the rules. You know, they tell us about these holidays. Oh, we have to celebrate this person. That's just the tradition. Yeah. We've got to honor these people. They're the tradition. It's used to justify actions otherwise unjustifiable. The peach cloak is the agenda. Past or present, painting. The idea is to focus on, you know, those positive aspects of any particular event. It could be a war. You know, people that have been to war know how horrible it is. Those are not the thoughts that they would like people to remember in history about wars. Instead, they would like for people to remember the victory, the overcoming of the the evil and these sorts of things. It's a painting of a peachy picture. When they tell us, you know, we're returning uh, to a tough on crime era. Well, you know, we've been we've gotten beyond that. It was it was a tough on crime. 
today is tougher on crime than any other time because the crimes don't even exist. And if they do exist, you know, it's witchcraft. They're being fabricated. You know, the definition is not in the Oxford Dictionary. These people have mastered the art of deception. They've learned to mix truth with lies. When they tell us that the Me Too movement is, is uh, you know, things have changed. Um, you know, it's things are worse. Yeah, things are worse. So. They're painting a picture of what they would like you to see. Brown. Brown is in the branding. It's a distraction. It can be mostly attributed to the language. You know, when they tell us about the Syrian civil war, you know, it's discounting that there were international involvement. That even those, you know, groups that were involved were covertly sponsored by state actors. You know, you add one word. Oh yeah, it goes down in history as Two people fighting against each other and one lamb. Not two people fighting each against each other over one lamb. You know, we're told that Aung San Suu Kyi was arrested uh, for walking talking. It's a hideous example, you know, because it's we all know that. The military is sponsored by international actors that always desired for her removal. You know, it's a conspiracy theory. As long as you brand it, you put a brown cloak. It looks legitimate, but it's not. It can also be used within the context or the subtitles. It only takes one word. The gray is objective cloak. That's another object the focus is on. It's China. They're doing the spying. Yeah. It's pointing fingers. It could also be an idea. Like if you think about a freedom of, of press. Freedom of press. You got that right. Yet you're unable to reach an audience because the distribution supply chain is choked. You know, it's freedom of press, but not for you. The black cloak <clears throat> you know, is the evil cloak. And I hate to use that word because nowadays we associate it with a certain color skinned people. They say colored, but they tell us black is the absence of color. You know, when you take this black and you put it next to another man, you'll find out this different shape. But it might not be a coincidence 
why the word was used to describe a certain population. When uh, the Abortion Act, Roe vs. Wade, which I had looked up in the encyclopedia for that year, the yearbook, didn't even see it. Now it's a big deal, right? Oh, people are divided, one side, one camp, two sides, and they now are supposed to control us. Yeah, well, that enabled pornography. See, people don't know that because they think about the abortion, Roe vs. Wade. But really, they use that to make this legal prostitution available for all kinds of people. You know, when they tell us about the 11-year-old that was kidnapped, tortured, and murdered, it sounds bad. But you could substitute that word tortured for sexually exploited, raped, so on and so forth. You know, it, some words, they've diluted. So as, as serious that of meaning no longer has the impact on the listener. So other words or other phrases have the impact. They are able to, uh, you know, cause some kind of reaction. Those words are left out, and the soft words are used to place, but this course, the definition of soft words is just as strong as the impactful ones. <clears throat> you know, this black, it can be in different shades. The red, a red could be darkened, for example. Um, you also have um, thin cloaks. as well as thick cloak. So the thin cloak is meant to expose and to stimulate the imagination. Think about the censorship. Sometimes they censor nudity, sometimes they censor curse words. When they do this, the audience is able to interpret that as, oh, Gee, somebody just cursed. I wonder what they said. Oh, I can put this word and this word and figure out what goes in between. Or the uh, censoring of nudity. You know, when, when you shouldn't be showing this to a general audience at all. Now, it's acceptable. It's a thin cloak. You can easily see through it. It's evil not covered. A thick cloak is the framing. It's the outright lies. But it also can come in the form of deception. Whereas, for example, you have a guest with a host on a talk show and they're supposed to sound like they're having a conversation, like they didn't rehearse it or like they're not reading from script. And oftentimes you're going to hear the guests, they're going to make, you know, sounds like, uh, and well, I think, but we know they're not thinking about what they're saying. They've already been told what to say, but their purpose is to sound like they're coming up with it on the spot. But they, the, their, you know, uh, superiors will train them to be the models you know somebody to follow somebody to try to sound like somebody you know to use the same ideas as them they want you to like them the talk of racism you know it's a thick cloak 
in the sense where you think um, that it's in your favor. But when there's the planet is being destroyed, you know, when the children are being sold into sexual bondage and told to change their bodies, you know, when people are being exploited to the point where they're working more for less to the point where they can no longer survive. Um, the issue of racism uh, can take a sideline, you know, because it's always going to exist and it's always going to exist because they want you to, to exist. They want it to exist. So therefore, when they put this cloak on, it looks as if we're getting somewhere. It's for your good. Yet there's always something in mind for them to accomplish. And it will be at your expense. All praising the king. Jah. Rastafari. Rastafari.